Welcome to Containers. In this lecture, you will learn about virtual machine, container, and differences between them. Virtualization is the process of creating a software-based or virtual representation of something. Web server administrators use virtual host for a very long time. They install Apache only once, on the top of the install, they create multiple virtual hosts to support unique applications. Application servers also has the virtual host concept. You can apply the same principle on the hardware. If you slice the hardware into multiple operating systems, that is called virtualization. Look at the diagram at the right side. It has a physical server with hypervisor. The hypervisor is a manager for all virtual machine. Every virtual machine has a full-blown 100% operating system. It has a big footprint. Some examples for virtualization software in the market are Microsoft Hyper-V and VMware. Real-world container. We all see containers in our day-to-day -day life. There is a discipline to pack, load, and unload containers. They know where to place the containers, how to locate the capabilities of containers, and they also follow regulations. Similarly, software containers has a discipline to create, provision, and to be supported. Container is a lightweight virtual machine that virtualizes the host operating system. You have to remember the difference. A virtual machine is slicing the hardware. A container is slicing the operating system. A container has a piece of operating system. I would say two to three percent of operating system that is necessary for your application. Look at the diagram at the right side. The bare metal or virtual machine has a Docker daemon. On the top of the Docker, we run multiple containers. Containers are ephemeral. It has a small footprint. Containers share the OS kernel. So your kernel is independent of all your application operations. It gives you consistent environment that are cloud native. Some examples for container tools or Docker and Podman. I give the differences between virtual machine and containers as a diagram. Look at the left side. It has a hypervisor and every guest VM has a complete operating system. In the right side, I have a physical server or virtual machine with a Docker engine. Every container has just bin and lib that is necessary for an application. Tabular format. Virtual machines are infrastructure centric. Containers are application centric. A development team has full control on the container. For example, if you want a VM, you have to open your ticket to the infrastructure team. You have to wait to be provisioned. Any changes, you know, you have to go through the full blown process again. With containers, a developer can do everything on their own. They don't need the blessing of infrastructure team to get and operate the necessary operating system libraries. Virtual machine does hardware virtualization. Containers does operating system virtualization. Virtual machine has limited portability. For example, you create a virtual machine at Azure, you can't migrate them to AWS. But containers, you can migrate them across multiple cloud and on-premise. Features. Containers are application-centric. The DevOps team has full control on it. Containers are portable across multiple cloud and on-premise. Containers have small footprint because it does not hold the complete operating system. Reusable. You can Create a container once and you can reuse them across multiple environments. For example, you create a Tomcat container as a base image. Other teams 
can add enhancements to it without touching the core base image. It gives you consistent environment. They're also cloud native. We have tools in the market like Docker, Podman, and Rocket to build, provision, and support your containers. Next, Docker and Podman 